Um, so, next, what does Simcoe mean? Does everyone, how many people know what Simcoe is? Okay. It's 10.30, so I think it's time to wake you up. <laughs> Stefan Simkowitz, son of collectors. Um, as the New York Times put it, the art world's patron Satan. Did, did none of, how many of you read this article, even if you didn't recognize Simcoe? Okay, so Simcoe is Stefan's company. So a lot of people dislike Stefan. Um, he has a very hard-nosed way of moving through the art world. Um, but you can't disregard him. You disregard him at your peril. I would encourage you to read the articles, the interviews. He gave two interviews for Art Space, which I think were probably more valuable for gallerists than this one was. Although you should also read this because it's just part of the culture générale of the art market. Um, what strikes me about Stefan is that he has disintermediated the traditional gallery process. Stefan has identified good young artists, people who everyone is talking about, people like Petra Kortreit and Amelia Ullman, Spanish, John Raffman, et cetera, et cetera. Very early on, before they're working with galleries, he's introduced them to galleries, he's set up their gallery shows, he has bought enormous amounts of their material in the same way that Saatchi did, and he's been very transparent about what he has. So, and he has a collector base, software guys, sports guys, socialites that nobody else has. You have to go through him to get to them. And you can, disagree, you can dislike him, but the fact is he is able to identify what kind of art will be popular, and, he's a, and he has a market maker quality in the same way that the Rubels do, for example. You know, what he puts forward has momentum because he puts it forward to his people. So I think you have to understand that, that the reason why Stefan has been successful is A, he's moved much faster than a lot of galleries have with these young artists, and the other is he has done this thing that we talked about before with, with Silicon Valley. He has taken a market that was built on opacity and been much more transparent. He goes to an art studio, he puts his stuff on Instagram. You know? So I would study this. If I was a gallerist, I would, I would study very closely what he does and why it's successful. So this article came out at the end of last year. Um, earlier this year, Stefan Simkowitz became Simcoe. Now, if you look at the services he's offering, a lot of those look like the services of a traditional gallery. Right? Artist management, buying and selling art, client representation, which is something a lot of European galleries did. It used to be before there were art advisors, if you wanted to sell to certain client, uh, uh, collectors, you had to go through the gallery that was kind of their guy. So study this, because if you're a gallerist, it means something to you. <laughs>